stablecoin inflows appear to be increasing on centralized crypto exchanges. This might indicate that purchasing pressure is set to intensify. CryptoQuant, an analytics business, observed increasing stablecoin exchange inflows on March 6. Additionally, the business claimed the highest level of the year on March 5 as stablecoin holdings on crypto exchanges increased. The report found that Bitcoin prices were falling in the short term, but that the market's potential purchasing power is expanding. Inflows of stable coins are typically a hint that investors are preparing purchase orders at current or lower prices. At Finance Doc, we will be sharing more explanation videos related to cryptocurrencies, trading, forex, and many more. While you are already here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notifications for our future videos. So, let's begin the video. Ethereum dominates stablecoin share. Unfortunately, the evidence contradicts recent Glassnode results. The average number of USDC receiving addresses reached a one-month low of 1,544 per hour, according to the report. Despite this, USDT mean transaction volume has just reached a monthly high. According to Glassnode, the average number of exchange BTC deposits is also at a monthly low. This underscores the assumption that for the time being, holding and accumulating look to be preferred to selling. On March 6, CoinGecko revealed that Ethereum maintained its dominance in the stablecoin market. With 60% of the entire market share for stablecoins, Ethereum is by far the market leader. With a 5.9% gain, Tron is the second biggest network for steady asset supply, with a 27% share. Binance BNB Chain is a cryptocurrency. Stablecoin Ecosystem Outlook Stablecoins presently account for around 12.7% of the whole cryptocurrency market. According to CoinGecko, the total capitalization of all of them is over $136 billion. Tether, the market leader, with a 52% market share and $70 billion in circulation. Additionally, the supply of Tether has expanded by 7.8% since the beginning of the year, with an additional $5 billion USDT issued. Circle's dollar coin has a circulating supply of slightly under $44 billion, giving it a 32% market share. Circle resumed minting in mid-February, adding around $3 billion USDC since then. Binance and BUSD have suffered as a result of the supply increases. When the SEC started action against Paxos, the circulating supply of BUSD has fallen by 46%. There is currently $8.70 available. Are the buyers building up for a bigger pump? What is your opinion? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Until then take care and keep investing in crypto. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.